Seven right now. I want to get a check of that forecast with Carson Meredith. Waking up, it's really a nice day, and then we—I yeah. feel like we have some hiccups in our week, and then we end strong. So, kind of walk us through that. Yeah, the main hiccup, Megan, is going to be tomorrow. We're having a one-two punch, if you will. The first of which is going to be that heavy rain, and then there's that chance for a few stronger storms too. I'm going to walk you through that forecast in just a moment. Let's walk you through this morning. Really nice out there. Beautiful sunrise underway across all of North Alabama on the Way 31. Skycam Network. Temperatures in most spots are still in the mid 40s, although there's a few spots stuck in the 30s, including Decatur, where it's 37 degrees right now. But nonetheless, we are dry on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network, and those high temperatures today are going to be in the mid 70s. So a very pleasant early spring afternoon. Today is technically the first full day of spring. Definitely going to feel that way. Heading for the mid 70s again this afternoon. Maybe some clouds filtering in later on today, but it'll be those thin, wispy clouds. So a spectacular Monday. Unfortunately, Tuesday, not going to be the same story. Our main concern with this next weather maker is going to be that heavy rainfall potential. That's a high risk, especially tomorrow afternoon heading into tomorrow night. And that heavy rain could lead to ponding on the roadways and flash flooding. That's in the medium risk category. But depending on how the atmosphere plays out tomorrow, all the different ingredients in place, there is a low end chance for some severe storms here in North Alabama. Let me show you that severe weather outlook. You'll notice that greatest area of concern is to our south and west. A level four risk has been issued for southwestern Mississippi down into Louisiana. Unfortunately, those folks may be dealing with a tornado outbreak tomorrow. But again, here in North Alabama, that severe weather potential is much lower. But west of I-65 and south of the Tennessee River is under a level one risk to at least see a few stronger storms mainly tomorrow afternoon and maybe into the evening hours as well. Future radar today, just fine. Those clouds trying to filter in, but that's all. Temperatures in the mid 70s today. And then as we zoom things out, look off to our west. This time tomorrow morning, we've got a line of very heavy rain and thunderstorms along the Mississippi River. That line will move eastward through the day. We'll have to watch that line closely, as well as any supercells that try to get going along the Mississippi Alabama border down near the coast. Some of those supercells may try to make a run into North Alabama. If that happens, our tornado potential is going to go up just a little bit, but that's not a guarantee. We'll have to wait and see how the atmosphere reacts tomorrow. If we get enough fuel, then that tornado potential and that severe weather potential in general might go up just a little bit. Nonetheless, there you see that heavy rain moving in by seven o'clock tomorrow night, lasting through the evening, lasting through the overnight hours tomorrow night. That's going to be our main concern. Ponding on the roadways, especially in the middle of the night, Never a good combination. If you're going to be out late tomorrow night, turn around and don't drown. Rainfall forecast, those higher totals west of I-65, 2 to 3 inches expected. East of I-65, still expecting around 1 to 2 inches of rain. And outside of the severe weather, outside of that heavy rain, we're going to see very gusty winds tomorrow. Upwards of 35, maybe 40 miles per hour. And even as that cold front moves through, we'll still see those gusts on Wednesday in that 25 to 30 mile per hour range. So a messy forecast over the next couple of days. Of course, if things change, We'll be the first to know on air and online at WeTV.com. But like Megan said, once that system moves out the rest of the week, not too bad in the low 60s with a mix of sun and clouds. And then the weekend looks great. A little cool still in the 60s, but plenty of sunshine.